Evening boys and girls, welcome back. Hope you're all right. So, taking all the tape off after last night. Nothing's fallen off. So, onwards. I've got a bit of a mark on there. Hmm. Never mind. Uh, yeah, looks okay. So, last few little bits to stick on tonight. It's up the front, we've got the radiator, the grill with the headlights on, the the bull bar, it's there, the mirrors. What I've done is I've given them a coat of blue and then I've stuck a little bit of tin foil on there with a bit of super glue because I haven't got any metallic reflective -y paint or anything handy. That seems to look all right. So I did on the other one, looked okay. Uh, and then got all this massive load of photo etched today. It's gonna take weeks. Uh, no, not really. Um, so these two bits that go around the air vents, these little plates have the red crosses on, go front and back. This one has a number on it that goes on the uh, front of my guard, and that's the back of it. So, uh, not too much to do. I'm no good at photo etch, but there's not much to do. So, should should struggle through that okay. Um, then, what else? Just check the book again. It's got that little section to do. Um, here we go, so, yeah, that lot, that lot, and that's it, so, let's get cracking, <clears throat> so, let's start with the, the front end, shall we, so I'm going to do this section first, so it's one of these ones that says do it in the right order, so, one, two, three, so, radiator in first, Again, it shows the little space that that has to sit on. So that's that little, little area there. In the grill, so that's got a little bit that sticks out and a little hole just there, a little slot that it goes in. So it should be pretty straightforward, too. Do I need to scrape paint off? Yeah, so this edge needs to fit in there, and it feels like it's too wide. Ah, oh, no, that's it. Okay, right. So, it needs to slot it down from above by the look of it. I was trying to put it in at a bit of an angle. Still not gone right in. That's it. Just needs to go in a little bit further. That's it. Oh, there we go. Little click. Oh, that's rock solid. It's got to nudge the radio back to where it's supposed to be. Right, and then we've got the just the bonnet to go on. Right, so there's the bonnet. The paint didn't come out too well on there. Went a bit see through. So yeah, it's not, I had a couple of coats, but for some reason it's not stuck properly. Uh, I think I shall just put it on and then I'll probably just touch it up after. Because I don't want to wait for it to 
dry. I want to get it done now. If I was to repaint it. It's going to need loads of little bits touching up anyway, so not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. I keep saying that. But it doesn't matter. So, today is the 10th of January. So, did you watch the the great Airfix unveiling of their 2023 range? Anything on there take your fancy? I um I was I was pleased to notice that I wasn't completely mad because this is the clear stuff you get with this kit. And there's was it a spare? Well different the, the headlights there which I would have used. There's all these glass bits. And I was thinking, well, there's nowhere for them on this kit. So they've announced that they're bringing out a, like a, a flatbed truck version, but using the front end of this, and it's got sort of proper doors on it. So I imagine that's for that version. Because all it says on here is 135th K2. So, I don't know. But uh, I like the look of that kit. And I'm starting to think, what, what could I do with that that's a little bit different? Because you've got the pickup, sort of flatbed body on it. So I'm wondering, maybe like a build a box type thing on the back of it and have it as a, a van of some sort. Got a couple of little ideas, but hmm. I shall, uh, I think that's the only one I've, I'm, I'm, Pretty sure I'm going to get. Look at that. That's a plop straight in there. Perfect. Oh, not quite. It's about too soon. Just needs to go down a little bit further there. Very nice. Fits lovely. There's no glue on any of that yet. Oh, that looks really good. So I'm just going to put some glue on it. That's it. <sighs> no more messy. Yeah, look, can't see the radiator at all. Anyway, pointless. <laughs> but we know it's there, don't we, kids? Yeah, so what else was there announced today? Um, oh, there was the Great Western, that ship from Brunel, and their vintage classics, I think it was. Uh, I'm not a great fan of building ships, but something about that one made me think, mm, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Something a bit different. Uh, but nothing, nothing today made me go, oh yeah, I must have, must have, must have. The, the gannet looked brilliant, but not really my subject. Um, so yeah, it's only the truck version of this that I thought, yeah. But, uh, I don't know. Lots of aircraft, of course which I'm steering clear of because, like I've said before, I've, I've made so many of them over the years. I just don't really fancy it now. Um, one thing I did think was interesting was in the quick builds, they're doing a London taxi and a London bus, like one of the new Routemaster buses. Uh, And that's a subject which, I don't know, probably because I'm originally from London, probably doesn't interest the rest of the world that much. But, you know, over the years, there have been lots and lots of interesting buses in London, if not the rest of the country. So, and you know, there are lots of, lots of us sort of people out there who 
might find that subject interesting. You know, and it might get people from the sort of bus collector world into the scale model world, perhaps. If we had a few, a few bus kits out there. The only ones that sort of spring to mind is that great big Revel London bus came out a few years ago, which, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing that one. <clears throat> um, and there's a couple of sort of World War One era double deckers that kind of go, yeah, that, that'd be good. But not many, I can't think of any others out there, certainly from the big, big names in, in, the, in the hobby. Um, so maybe Airfix might sort of think it's something to look at. Because, you know, us dinosaurs, we like our military stuff, but the interesting old aircraft and armoured vehicles and ships and things surely that's kind of going to dwindle over time whereas subjects like buses I mean the quick build stuff where you've got these sports cars and things brilliant because you know kids love cars don't they so a great way of getting into the in the hobby. But um so I think in stuff like science fiction stuff perhaps. I know there's you know all the issues over licensing rights and all that malarkey, but surely there's there's a market, you know, I mean our our boys when they were younger particularly they loved their sort of Star Wars stuff um, and the Lego Star Wars stuff, which is still, you know, very popular now. But, you know, I'm, I'm not at all into Star Wars, but that kind of thing kind of makes you think, well, there's a bit of a crossover there. Surely it's an avenue worth looking at, isn't it? Anyway, that's just my my thoughts on it. What what would get kids <coughs> kids into the hobby? I suppose there's even the possibility of sort of stuff from the world of gaming, maybe. Don't know anything about it, but. It's a possibility, isn't it? But, uh, but yeah, I was I was pleasantly surprised that there was a mixed chat. It wasn't all just military stuff. So well done, Airfix again. So it's on fairly tight. So I'm hoping that the the crossbar will just sit in between and not require too much fiddling. Oh, that's good. It'll just sit by itself for a minute. So I'm just trying to get it lined up straight. Oops. Bound up. 
ഇങ്ങനെ Yeah, that's about right. Looks straight that way. Looks pretty straight that way, slightly to one side. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that'll do. <clears throat> Just notice a bit of a gap at the front of the bonnet there. So I thought I'd check that. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's just a little bit of movement in that. So get a bit of glue in. Oh dear. Never mind, it needs touching up anyway. Seems to have done it. I'm not too bothered if there's sort of panel gaps, but I don't want to be able to see daylight through it. Because obviously these weren't precision made vehicles. So, you know, as long as the bonnet would open and shut, that'd be good enough. Uh, yeah, blob there, took a bit of paint off. Oops. I put a bit of glue, I can't even remember. I think I might have missed that bit out. Losing the plot, rushing again. And that is starting to look like a like a vehicle now, isn't it? Nice. Oh, it's had a brew. So after getting to this stage, uh, one of my commenters on here last night sent me a message recommending a set of weathering, like clay-based weathering, I don't know what you call it, whether it's, well, it's not exactly a wash, but he highly recommends it. So I've taken his advice and ordered a set. So when they get here, I'll... I'll try them out on here, try and get a little bit more up the side. Because I've gone over the top underneath, but there's still bits to be done. Uh, yeah, see how that goes. So, uh, thank you for the tip. That was from Easy 8 Models. Who uh, very kindly always sends a nice message. So, uh, thanks for that. Let's get these on, shall we? So which way round do they go? Uh, okay, so that's that one. So that should just line up on what looks like the outside of the door frame there. Oh yeah, there's a little slot just there. So yeah, and there's a lip there, so it should just fit straight into that. Oh, that fits nice. Oh, okay. Satisfying this stage, isn't it, when all you're doing is putting the last few bits on. See it all coming together. Still a fair way to go because uh, <clears throat> the um, the finishing touches with the the paint and the decals. Could take a while. 
pretty smart. I think that looks okay. Like I said yesterday, I'm thinking that would have ended up kind of canvasy colour rather than blue. Just with the wear, weathering, just fading in the sun and the rain and everything. So, uh, yeah, needs a little bit of shading and so on, but that's not too bad. Just noticed when I put that one on, the bottom of that needs to touch the mud guard. And this one I put a little bit higher up, so just take that off and do it again. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, mirrors. Or do I want to leave them? Mm, I'll leave the mirrors for a bit. Just because they're a bit vulnerable. So, done. Done. <clears throat> leave that for now. Could put that on. That's another bit of the photo etch. This is a fiddly one, so I'll do that first. So you should cut this on something really hard so it doesn't bend. But I can't find my chopping board. And I don't think this is going to be... No, it's coming off alright, so... The risk of bending it is pretty small. Just because if you... Sometimes if you try and cut this on a soft cutting board like that, you can bend the metal pressing it out. But uh, this is so thin, it's all right. Not that I'm an expert in this stuff by any means. But I need to get reasonably good at it. Because I've got the, uh, the Art Royal kit. Great big one. And there's tons of it in there. So that's going to be a challenge. Uh, not much to clean up on that. This is always the, the awkward bit, trying to clean up the, the burrs without bending it. And just to point out, see that? Two little screws or bolts or something. Which I hope you can see. There and there. And they go top and bottom. Uh, oh, this is fiddly. So looking at the placement of it. So, I've got to bend that, as you can see, to fit on there. And then that bit there needs to line up with that seam between the, the bumper and the mudguard, just inside that first bolt. Uh, yeah, yeah, easy enough. <clears throat> So, yeah, okay, I can see a little, they have these little tiny creases in for where to bend it, I can just about see it. Okay, 
Okay, so just very carefully bend it. Oops, you can see the shape of it there, hopefully. Yeah. And then that, you can see you've got a longer arm, arm, longer straight bit, which I'm thinking must be where that goes because it's about the right size. Uh, I'm going to stick that on first, I think, before I put the, the disc on. I think that'll be easier. So I'm going to put the bottom on first, give that a minute to dry because you're using super glue. <clears throat> and then line up the rest of it to, to suit. So I'm just going to choose the spot where I'm going to scrape a bit of paint off. So just inside from that first bolt, which you can just about make it out there. Oops, helps if I bring it nearer. There's a little bolt there needs to sit just inside so I'm going to go about there that should do it and then go okay, for my super glue this is the stuff that was recommended um, flexible super glue. There's lots of different versions of this. Um, uh, it seems to be all right from the little bit of experience I've got. So what I find works for me is just put a little bit in a, on a scrap of paper or a bit of cardboard or I use a the palette here to put a drop in that and you probably get a couple of minutes once it's applied before it goes off so you've got time to mess about uh, of course the important thing is having the part to hand to you so it is right. okay so I'm just going to dab a bit of glue on there with the cocktail stick. People use bits of metal for this. I just find that a cocktail stick seems to work as well. Right. So all I want to do here is get the bottom part attached and get it vertical. I'm not worried about the the angle of the rest of it as long as that first bit's in vertically. Okay, so I want to get it dead straight that way. Okay, that's it. So I'm happy that that's on. And then looking from the front, just needs to move over slightly. Nearly. Oops, not too much. That's pretty good, near enough. So I'm just going to give that a minute for it to attach at the bottom. And then I should be able to bend the rest of it without that snapping off. That's the theory. Right, back in the boat. Okay, I'm just waiting for that to dry enough to put the thing on, disc. I'm just looking at the other bits. And you've got these two other discs which have the red crosses on. And one of them goes there, fair enough. And there's another one, which if you look, is at the back there. And there's actually a circle already there. But you've got two of these, so I'm assuming that one goes on there. But looking back through the, the book, I can't see anywhere where it tells you to put it on. All I can see is in this picture, it just sort of shows a little bit there, 
just make out the sticks there. So going back, that's building the, the roof. Doesn't show it on there. Uh, so I think they've missed it out, unless I'm not seeing it. But um, I'll stick it on anyway. It doesn't show either. If you look on there, again, it's got like screws or bolts going through it, both the same. I'm pretty sure they go horizontal on these because they need to screw into whatever they're attached to. Oh, excuse me. Um, so I'm going to do it like that anyway. Right, okay. Back in a sec. Okay, so I've just put the the top part of this bracket on with a bit of super glue. And now I'm just going to fix this plate on the front. making sure the, the screws or bolts or whatever they are go top and bottom. I think that's it. It's nearly vertical, it's leaning back slightly, but that's okay, I think. Uh, right. So now there's one to go on here. Uh, so there, it just shows you, right, that's it, put it there. But, <clears throat> if you look there, that's on quite a, and line it up quite a thin piece to get it on there so there's not a lot of not a lot of meat there to to do it with um, I'm gonna shave off a little bit in the middle I'm hoping it will just have enough um, sort of grip the super glue just to hold it there. Mm. Mm. Would have been useful if there'd been some sort of bracket or something there to hold it, but but there isn't. So Yeah. Go with a little bit of blue tack on that, I think. Just trying to get it dead centre. Oops. Oh dear. There's not a lot of grip there. I'm going to try. Just roughing that up a little bit in the hope that that gives it a bit more, a bit more to stick to. I mean, luckily it's fairly soft this stuff, so it uh, doesn't take a lot of, a lot of effort to rub it down. Just try and put in a little bit more glue on. It might work, the, the glue's just started to go off, like it's starting to dry, so it's got a little bit thicker, so I'm hoping that might just help in getting that on. Okay, because it's stayed put. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get. So it seems to be pretty central. The bolts are in a line. It's, yeah. 
And that'll do. It's angled down slightly, but it seems to want to stay there. So that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Okay. So we've got these little fiddly ones. And they go on there around the air vents. So, a bit of a loose fit, that's all right, that makes life easier. Let's get a little bit of paint off. So I'm going to try just to get a bit of glue in there. And then hopefully it'll have enough grip. That the the metal will just stick to it without lifting off. Mm. <clears throat> the metal sort of bent slightly. I don't remember bending it, but it sort of bent the wrong way. So I'm going to have to try and persuade it to sit down. Because it, go, it goes on one way up because it's got screws or bolts on one side, not the other. So here it goes. I'll we'll put quite a bit of glue on there. Didn't mean to do that. It seems to be staying. So I'm just holding this back corner down because it wanted to bend up, which it still does a little bit. So I'm going to keep that all in place. Yeah, a bit awkward. What's that side like? No, that side's all right. Yeah, just this back corner here. Just wants to ping up. You have to get a bit more glue in there. Just doesn't want to grip. Seems to have worked. It stayed down now. Okay, I'm happy with that. So you see what I mean? So all I did was cut that off and it's curled up. It's curled up exactly the opposite way what you want it to. Oops. There it is. Yeah, it's just weird. Didn't didn't bend it or anything, just wants to curl the wrong way. So I'm try and gently bend it the way I want it to go before I glue it on. see that. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, 
Yeah, a bit of a mess with the... Well, it's not too bad, actually. There's a little bit of glue stuck out there. But there's a... A big red cross goes over that, which I still haven't decided if I'm going to try and use a decal or just have a go at painting it. Make a big um, mask, stencil, circle around it, spray it white, and then spray the red cross on. Don't know if that's going to look any better or worse. But with this, it will help because it will cover that up. Uh, so, yeah, looking at the decal, it's got these cutouts to go around it. So do that, and then you've still got to paint the vents themselves in red. So it might be just as easy to just spray it all in the first place. Hmm. better than the first one so yeah so if yours do the same and uh, curl slightly just uh, persuade him to go the opposite way a little bit that's lifting slightly as well not as bad as the first one That's fine, I'm happy with that, I do. Okay, that one stayed on so far. Uh, it's got this one here to go on the back. Just gonna whack that on. Probably don't need it because it's got that part already built in. I don't know that having that on there is, let's have a look. Is it gonna actually make any difference? It's the same size. Nah, forget it. I shall keep that in the spare parts pile. Probably more use in there than it is on here. Maybe that's why they don't show it, because you don't really need it. <clears throat> Although it's in the kit, so it, I don't know. By the time you put the decal over the top of that, having a piece of metal under it isn't going to really do a lot, is it? Okay, so that's the PE done. Uh, right, I'll just have a look at the distractions again. What else we got? It's got the mirrors to go on. That is all done. Just the mirrors. Oh yeah, excuse me, I'm really windy tonight. Just having one last sweep of the instructions. So we see the back doors to go on. Uh, no, that's it. Mirrors and back doors. And this is where I knock everything over. <laughs> Luckily nothing was open because there could have been a big splodge of paint go all over it. So look at these doors, see how rigid they're going to be. So, hinges. So, how awkward are they? Okay, that's not bad at all. They fit quite nice.
So in the fully open position, the hinges don't quite line up. Oh, that's a shame, but it's pretty close. So, yeah, I think that'll do. Uh, don't want to put them on yet though. Okay, see all the decals and stuff to go on there. No, I'm going to leave them right till the end. Uh, all the way they're in, all the decals. Touching up everything because why not? It'll only take a minute to put them on, and then the mirrors as well. Again, might as well leave them right to the end. So, okay, so for now, it's finished. Okay, so tomorrow I shall do the touching up with the blue. There's a few bits to do, so there's these PE bits. Bits of touching up here and there. Might as well go around that for, for now. Uh, got to finish off these doors, just need a little bit of shade in there. Uh, underneath the steps need something. Yeah, I'm going to call it a day. So, I should just leave you with this tantalising view. Isn't that lovely? Yay. Anyway, thanks for watching. Probably see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye.